Welcome back to the second issue of the day. The All Progressive Congress, APC, has condemned the governor of River State, that is condemning his comment, that's Yesom Wiki, over what he said as a poor performance of his colleagues in the ruling party, APC, that the party had rejected the non-performance label tacked on them by Governor Wiki. The, the APC governors described Governor Wiki's comments on the performance rating as baseless. The governors, however, said that the reverse was the case, adding that all APC governors have recovered tremendous infrastructural development in their respective states. Joining us to discuss this is a criminal justice consultant and also a public affairs analyst. I also prefer to call him a political analyst that is in Kotaria. Good evening, Good Mr. In Kotaria. Good evening, my brother. Sorry, How are you? I, I, sorry, I, I forgot to call your full name. His, his full name is uh, Opunabo in Kotaria. Opunabo in Kotaria. Yes. You're right. Yeah. So let, right. let, let, right. let, let, let's, let's look at this statement. I know you are uh, you are a bona fide uh, resident and even a former aide to Governor Wiki. Uh, let's not go into... Yeah, former what, special advisor. Uh-huh. So I don't want to go into what happened between both of you, but looking at this statement, what do you think? Is this a distraction for us or what do you make out of that statement? Any difference between these two parties? Uh, well, first, um, I think it's a clear case of Mendocino Point. You need, no to, you need, you need to explain that to me. Falsehood. Falsehood. That's why I explained it by saying no ounce of truth oh, in better. that. I have to follow up. Thank, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank uh, okay. you for that. Better, better put, let's say, sophistry. Of course, that you know. Should I, I shouldn't explain it as well. That, that is clear. Sophistry. And it's a, it's a political statement uh, geared towards 2023. Hmm. If you realize, if you extrapolate from his indictment of the PDP leadership, just about a week or two weeks ago or thereabout, when he accused the PDP leadership, uh, the National Working Committee headed by Prince Uche Secondus, for... Uh, not working towards the PDP regaining power in 2023, but are rather in there for selfish reasons. So that will tell you when you conflate these two. That, and also, if you realize in recent times, he has been inviting governors from other states to do the commission. What he's trying to do is spread his tentacles so that come 2023, he will have. Uh, some sort of leverage. And of course, in politics, you have to demonize your opponents so that you will be seen as the Messiah. I don't want to say it's uh, suffering from Messiah complex and Messiah syndrome, but it looks more like it. So if you ask me, I'll tell you sincerely that Nigerians cannot be widowed into such a belief because we know the truth. Why am I saying this? In Lagos State, the APC government is working really hard. And has uh, performed so well to the satisfaction of a lot of people. And Kaduna State is APC. Now, if you go to Bayelsa, the immediate past governor's performance was abysmal. If you go to Abia, it's shameful. If you go to Akwaibom, uh, notwithstanding media, the media hype, there is really not just a high blood pressure of the certain veterans and an of country's uh, performance. So I will tell you that it's more or less an individual thing. Hmm. It has nothing to do with the party. Because look at Edo, the present government of Edo said, in the first four years, was in APC. What, has he, what did he do? What did he achieve in the last four years? He cannot talk of, uh, but today is in PDP. So it really has nothing to do with the party because APC, PDP, they are one at the same. But at the federal level, APC has performed that Bismarck. No doubt about that. At the federal level. But when it gets to the states, it's an individual thing. It depends on the governor. Okay, in Kotaria. In Kotaria. So it's not a I, allegation of I, APC and PDP, no. 
I'm not going to interject you this time around because I asked you the question, so I've looked for your trouble. Now, when you say no doubt about it, <laughs> when you say no doubt about it, trust me, that is actually debatable. Because people will also say, why don't you... When, when, when I say what? When you say no doubt about it, some people will also debate that with you. And they might also want to compare, you, compare your statement with what happened to PDP before... President Muhammad Buhari. PDP before president. No, he talked of governors. Because you went into the federal. He not, he, you went into the federal, and you, and you can only no, have well, one president. And I for said, what party? I said here. I said here. If you listen carefully, I said here that the APC at the federal level has performed that bismarck. Okay. It's a decrease at the federal level. I said that. Okay. Yeah. What about PDP said, before? What about because, PDP before now? At the federal? Well, the PDP, the PDP didn't actually perform as creditably as expected. But if you just oppose, if you make a comparison, I'll tell you that the PDP is much better than the APC of today. The PDP of yesterday is much better than the APC of today. Okay. It is simple. Look at the economic situation that we are facing. There okay. Are so many indices. I In let me let me continue with you. Let me continue with you. Uh, uh, can we also look at the people as we speak? There are states you will call APC states. They are traditionally APC states. In, in 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 some states there are traditionally PDP states. Why can't the people see yeah. from the prism you see now? that they are just the same. It's about the individual. But in some states, irrespective of who you bring, they will say, this is not this party state. What is responsible for that? Politics. Politics. You see, we, we suffer from the bandwagon effect. Once the governor is a PDP man, everybody will want to ingratiate themselves with him. And so we want to say those things. It's what we call the cognitive dissonance theory. We want to say those things that the governor would love to hear so that they will be in their good books, in his good books. That is what is going on. Otherwise, you see, okay, look, let's take Delta State, Ajo State, for example. When he was an APC governor, everybody commended him. They praised him that the APC was better than the PDP, including the PDP, um, 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 what are they called, chairman and so on also castigated the governor for not performing well. The APC chairman was also, in, his, in their rebuttals, defended the governor that he has performed creditably. Now that he has moved to PDP, what did the PDP chair, uh, chairman in Edo uh, say? He added his words, immediately he said, oh, that the governor is the best. And as so many that have been recommended and uh, campaigned for the one, said it, it was done in error. So it has really nothing to do with the party. It has to do with the individual. So that's why I say Nigerians who are discerning will never be willing to do such a, 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 a disbelief because it, is, it has no nexus at all whatsoever with party ideology. It has to do with okay. the individual at the end of affairs at that time. Let me bring you back to what led to this conversation. And uh, this has to do with Governor Wiki visiting... Uh, the governor of Benue State, and it was, he went there to commission some projects, and he was singing his praises to high heaven that probably this wouldn't have happened if you were to still remain in APC. You remember his story from PDP to APC, APC back to PDP, just because of differences in okay. the okay. way okay. the farmers. Okay. okay. Now, now let's give a penetrating talk to that. In fact, if uh, autumn accepts such encomium, then he has indicted himself. Because he is now telling the world that as an APC governor, he failed. Will he, in his autobiography, admit to that fact that as an APC governor, he failed? He will tell you his eight years in office was successful. That is number one. Number two, what was he getting as an APC? What did he not get as an APC governor that he's now getting as a PDP governor. Because if it is the IGRO, it will not change. That is number one. If it is federal allocation, it will not change. That is number two. So you, you find out that it, it suffers from acute of and poverty of logic. There is no sense in whatever. It's just political campaign. It's as simple as that. 
and is there to us 2023. And that is why you find out that the governors are now networking. That is what they are doing. They are networking through 2023. That's the whole bottom line. That's the summary of it all. So it really has nothing to do with the party. And nobody can actually convince me to be contrary. It's not possible. Because Alton was not baptized, was not born again when he defected to PDP. He wasn't born again. He didn't go for any special training. He didn't go for any nothing. He don't move from APC to all they did was change the flags. Mr. So Kotaria, I, I, I trust me, I think I'm on the same page with you. If you can hear me, Mr. Kotaria, I think I'm, yeah, on, the I same, I can, I can, I'm on the same page with you. There is, there is hardly ideological difference. But let's look at um, the idea of uh, uh, free room to operate. I'll remind you some uh, political history. You remember when Ashua Jubala Ahmed Tinubu was the governor of Lagos State, and it was a case of it was not even being given federal location because it created some <coughs> local government. And the people would say, because of the way the federal government, who was PDP then, stifled resources being allocated to him, he was able to come up with a whole lot of ideas. So have you considered the issue of this is an opposition. I want to make a statement that we are better than the party at the center. Or have you also considered a case of you might enjoy some federal support that will make you perform better? Or it makes you like a darcycle that, oh, come the next election, I will have the federal support and I will get the victory. Let's look at the factors now rather than ideological differences, if, I, if you get my point. No, in, in, in my response to your question, all these issues you raised were factored in. That's why I said, did it affect the IGR? It did not affect the IGR. Very true. Did it affect the federal allocation to the state? It did not affect the federal allocation to the state. So at no point in time was the state starved of its funds. The federal government still released the funds to the state. The case of Lagos State is different. And although the court also ruled against it, but a passenger defied court orders. That was what happened. And they finally released anyway. But the court ruled against it. That really had nothing to do with party. I think it has to do with a passenger's thinking of government. Because it has to do with the creation of the LCDAs, if I'm right. Yes, very correct. It has to do with the creation of LCDAs, yes. Exactly. So, so, so that has no, it has no, it, it's not the same. It's not the same as this. It's a different thing altogether. If our firm had said, or if we can have said, that look, because of this, like when you, uh, they delayed the uh, release of funds to him, the COVID funds, he shouted, he covered, he made noise about it. And he said it was because he was a, it was a PDP state. Eventually they released the money. Okay. So if they are not released, then the argument would have been terrible that because you are PDP state, you are in the opposition, you are being denied certain, certain benefits. But in this particular case, you are not denied any benefits. So it really doesn't change anything. It has to do with the individual. It has nothing to do with the party. The people you find in PDP today are the same people. The people you find in APC today are the same people that were in PDP, that were in CPC. They did not have any new orientation. There was no reorientation whatsoever. Okay. And they did not change any their paradigm of leadership. It, they the same. The commissioners are the same. The special advisors are the same. The local government chairman are the same. The okay. deputy government are the same. The government are the same. So what changed? In Kotaria, let me let me let me use your word now. Let, for, for this will be my final question, and it's more of a test to your ah, political. Ah, 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 You are near twenty twenty minutes talk. Okay, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> if you can pay for the airtime, no problem. If you can pay for the airtime, airtime is quite expensive. No, by, by, God, by God's grace, I'll get there. Okay, good. So uh, this is my final question, and uh, it's a way of putting okay. you on the spot to test your political sophistry. Yeah. We had a discussion yesterday, and I want to put this point blank to you. Someone said that, forget it, APC will never win a state like River State. Looking at the crisis... Uh, that Chilaka, is Chilaka, Chilaka. <laughs> we, we ever said it, don't worry. I know you're watching our program. I so want you. I want basically, you. I want program. Yeah. How, mm -hmm. how true is this statement that this is traditionally a PDP state, but you were saying that they are the same of the same, that it depends on individuals. Do you hold on to that point 
even on the stage that you are from, reverse. For now, <laughs> when they say traditional, it's because APC government, APC has never taken, power, taken over power in reverse. State. No other party, APC, AMPP, ACN, and so on. I think it's on that premise, he said, it's traditionally a PDP state. But he, I disagreed with him when he now said, come 2023, PDP will still win. Maybe because of the schism in the party. But anything can happen between now and 2023. So you cannot say for sure that come 2023, PDP will win. No. I don't, but maybe he has a gift of clairvoyance. He's the modern day Nostradamus. And that is why he said what he said. But I can tell you that it is too early in the day to say come 2023, PDP will still win. It is too early in the day. Because in politics, just one hour is more than enough to effect any change you want to change. Thank you That's so the much. Truth. Thank so you so I much. agree with him on that point. But for now, it is traditionally a PDP state because no other party right from 1999 has taken over power from PDP. That's uh, why it's a uh, traditional. Uh, but uh, not that. In 2023, it cannot happen. Thank it's PDP is not invincible. We've seen it in other states. Okay. It's not invincible. Okay. Even at the federal okay. level, it's okay. I, I was about to commission you Nigerian uh, political Nostradamus, but but yours is more of analysis of it can go this way, it can go this way, which I think I prefer rather than okay, being yes, a Nostradamus. Exactly, yes, yes. Thank there's you so much. Thank you. Before you. Thank you so much, Opunabo. Uh, <laughs> we have Thank to end so it much. now. Thank you so much, uh, Opunabo in okay. for your insight. Trust me, it's, it's a fun to always have you here. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure as well. And this is where we call it a wrap on today's edition of Plus Politics. Plus Politics returns tomorrow. Even on Christmas Day, there will be Plus Politics. And uh, it will be my pleasure to have you while you're eating your chicken and you still tune into our channel to watch what we have for you. Uh, my name is Kayode Lade Inde, and bye for now.